What's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Whiskey and Rations. <laughs> All right, we're changing the name on the fly. What's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Whiskey and Rations. In this episode, we're going to have Whiskey and Rations. Today, we're going to dive into an American uh, MRE chicken burrito bowl. And with that, Andy is going to be so kind to pick the whiskey that I'm going to be drinking with this burrito bowl. Hopefully, it pairs nicely. And uh, he also decided that he was going to have me drink out of a Navy SEAL glass. So I thought that was quite appropriate for the fact that I am not a Navy SEAL, and he was. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you. No, the only easy day was yesterday, which I do think is a cool slogan. Yeah, I don't know where it came from, though. It's also a lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> But it's a, it's, do they say it in buds or no? Uh, it's written on the wall. Nobody really Perfect. ends up saying it. Did they, do you know that they changed? I don't know if we talked about this before. Did they change? Ours used to say like, it was like uh, the Brotherhood or something. And they took that down. Like we had a. Does we it say the Sisterhood now? I don't know what it's. I think they just took it down, which sucks, man. Because that's like, it, regardless of whether or not they change and you know we grow, there's still lineage and there's still history. Yeah. And so to just take things down because it doesn't fit new ways does not mean that you should disrespect the old ways. I am not aware of them making that changes on the Navy side. Yeah, so hopefully they don't. It's not necessary, yeah. I don't think. I think that High West uh, Double Rye would be a good Oof. pairing for this. Let's do it. High West Whiskey Double Rye. Where's it out of? Park City. Oh, Utah. Let's do it. Let's pour that in there. We just used to have, it, well, and I, yeah, I say used to it. Part of the Q course, there was a big sign that said Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It was like, welcome to the Brotherhood. And so I believe that that is gone now. So let's jump in. Let's use this half face blades knife to cut this open. Take a sip. Hopefully it fits in the bowl. <laughs> this is like a, a Quidoba, like an MRE Quidoba. Inside. So obviously the stuff that we could just nix right off the bat. That's... Peter, spoon, pepper sauce, leave that for you. Beverage powder. <clears throat> Heater sleeve, accessory pouch. That's about it. It says on the package, chicken burrito bowl. Like why would you call it a burrito bowl? Like are, you're not placing it in a bowl. And then apple turnover, shelf stable. These are good. This is another one of those good ones. With the cheese spread. Yeah, cheese spread for the tortillas. This thing is one of those sweet uh, dessert ones, the, the apple turnover. And those are actually pretty dang good. So if you get that, you will enjoy that one. And then obviously, my favorite is if you're going to have the cheese with anything, I prefer it with a tortilla. Right? Yeah. Do you? Uh, to be honest, I've never actually had an MRE tortilla. No? That was after my day. Or I just missed out on that one. I think this was like the the better alternative, or it's the, yeah, it's the better alternative to the cracker is to use the tortilla, and it goes great with the cheese. Like if you get the cheese all mixed up and then you have that with the tortilla, I think that's better. But we don't need that. So from there we have corn nuggets. I suspect they're like, Oh wow! Oh, dude, that actual could, corn kernels. Yeah, corn kernels. That would probably go good in the burrito bowl. What are those called? Ah, uh, oh, damn. The little sleeves. Yeah. Do you do you remember those, Abel? These corn kernels that were in the little sleeves, like the long, thin sleeves at gas stations. They have like the ranch flavor. Yeah. Corn nuts. Corn, corn nuts. nuts. Yep. There you go. Yeah, they're corn nuts. So that'll probably be good on the burrito bowl. So there's your corn nuts. These things, I always felt like they were going to break my teeth. So I kind of tried to not overdo them. But let's see what this main meal has to offer. Because I might want to mix those corn nuts into my burrito bowl. I think that might Make add yourself it. a taco. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to get it away from the edge. Slide that open. Let's see what we got. That's not too bad. 
kind of spicy, kind of got, it's got some rice in there, some corn. Looks like they went, I mean, it's just like Chipotle. It's the same thing. No difference, right? So we'll just slam that in there. A little shredded chicken in there. Oh, I got on my finger. Mix that up and there we have it. There's our burrito bowl. It's got some beans. It doesn't look half bad actually. No, it doesn't. It's got some chicken, uh, corn. They gave us some pepper sauce, so we could probably use that pepper sauce to throw on top. I don't want to actually cut it. Let's try that again. Please don't hurt yourself. I feel like I was on the verge. All right, so we get some pepper sauce in there. I think those corn nuts would be probably a cool way to add some texture to it. Now, would you put it in a tortilla? I don't know, dude. I feel like I would burrito bowl it up and just like shred it and then put it in there. Let's see what you got. That's actually probably the call. Yeah, that's really like the way to go, right? This is, is it the, as we get newer MREs that aren't expired by 15 years, that we're getting decent meals? Cause taste that. No. Good dude. I'm telling you that's a good one. Okay. Just do it. No. You'll enjoy it. No. It's got a little apple in it. A little zest. It's fine. A little zest to your life. I'll be good. <laughs> like Without, you. I'm zesty enough. No, you're not. You need a little zest. This one's bullshit. It's not even gonna taste bad. I know. I don't know if you guys caught the last one or if what order Abel will film those in, but the last one was squid from Spain. Blech. That was the most disgusting thing I think I've ever eaten in my life. Out of a can, a tin can. It was pretty rugged. So you know what? This crunchy, dude, this is actually looking pretty good. This, I'm just gonna say, I think that we do MREs the best. Um, so there you go. Probably pretty good, isn't it? It's good. Would it be better if you heated it up? No. Just fine the way it is. Yep. It's just good the way it is. It actually tastes really good. I'm actually really impressed with this one. And best MRE you've had so far? Best MRE you've had so far. What number By was far. it? So people know which one to pull. Oh. Let's see. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, right oh here it is. So chicken burrito menu 16. 16. 16 is delicious. All right, guys, if you find that one in the field, definitely go with menu item 16. How's it pair with your whiskey? I don't know if whiskey's a play for, for this one. Depends on the time of day. That's true. What would you put with a burrito bowl if you're going to like Chipotle and you had to drink? Maybe like a Mexican beer? Cerveza. Yeah. Yeah, Corona. Yeah, probably go with a Corona or Dos Equis. Uh, I like the Dos Equis Amber when I'm feeling a little spicy. But that's good, dude. For real, that is by far the best MRE I think I've ever had to date, military career up to this point. Mix it with the tortilla, mix it with the corn nuts. Fucking good, man. There's a cheese too. You could have put that on there if you wanted to throw a little bit into the mix, but. What I would do, like I know we don't use the heater and we don't sell the heater a lot, but I would heat up the cheese and then put that in there. You'd be good. That's a fucking banger, son. Look at us, we found it. So whoever designed that MRE, good job. Three That's, seasons in, we found it. Boom, three seasons and we found a good MRE. And it's actually like the best ingredients that go with it. Cause once you're done eating your main meal, which all this stuff makes sense for your main meal, you have a little dessert. Fucking nailed it guys. Good job, whoever did that one. All right guys, I know it was a quick episode of Wine and Rations, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, and now for all you military folk, you knew which you know which MRE to dig through and find if you're that, that guy. Make sure you get that one, you'll enjoy your experience. All right guys, have a good one. We'll see you on the next episode. Too easy. That was legit fucking tasty. I think it's good to have.